Hi, I'm John Little, and this is the Shockcast for Saturday, May 12th, 2018, on a sunny day in northern Taipei. It's for the article called Jacob's Trouble Approaches, written on May 11th, 2018. Just to be clear, Jacob's Trouble is not the Great Tribulation. Please understand that, because you could die if you don't. It's why I wrote Ezekiel's Fire, to help you survive what Isaiah described in chapter 30, the same event described in Jeremiah 30. That event is the coming of Gog and Magog, and Iran's attack on Israel is a signal that we are closer to that cataclysm. Closer than some might think. The good thing is that there are some who understand all this, and when I run into them, well, it's a huge relief. And I did that on Thursday. Remember the name Dalton Thomas. You'll be hearing more about him in the future. That missile strike on Israel by Iranian forces in Syria was an earth-shaking sign. This has never happened before. And I believe that this was the opening salvo in the coming war of Gog and Magog. And if you need a reminder of the seriousness of this event for you, go here, EzekielsFire.com. No apostrophes, no spaces, EzekielsFire.com. Now, I keep harping on this, but until someone can demonstrate that I'm wrong, well, the future death of a billion people is worth repeating and screaming about. And I do not want you to be included in that number. Please understand that Iran has never directly, using her own forces, launched missiles into Israel. Never. Not in thousands of years. Yes, Hezbollah has done this countless times, but they are not an official part of the Iranian military. I know that this seems like a minor point, but it's not. For Iran to officially and directly launch rockets into Israeli territory is an unprecedented escalation. This is the first time in the history of the world that Persia has directly attacked Israel. Not even when Persia captured the Babylonian Empire did Persia do so much as shoot an arrow into Israel. In Israeli terms, that takeover was bloodless. Now we have something that we've never seen before. Well, I'm betting that the homework assignment that I'm about to give you is something that you haven't seen before either. And it has to do with the work of Dalton Thomas. Dalton lives up in the Golan and knows firsthand that events are escalating. He also runs an organization that goes into Syria and helps Syrian civilians with life-saving medical aid. He knows what is going on up there, especially since he is in direct and close contact with IDF commanders on the Golan Heights. For instance, he knows that Israel is not supporting ISIS in Syria. Period. End of story. And I will trust his observations over that of any other. His people are in Syria. They know what is going on. But let me get to that first part of your weekend homework assignment. And hopefully, if I get this right, the link to that will appear up here. It's called Prophetic Perspective, Israeli Strikes on Iranian Positions in Syria. <coughs> that is the <coughs> from Joel Richardson in the Underground, number 92. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Air quality from China is not so great. The... Um, This is from Joel Richardson. Uh, He's interviewing Dalton Thomas up on the Golan while he's in his car and he's talking to him. And and it was actually, it's like, wait a minute, I'd never heard of Dalton Thomas. And what I learned there, I thought, wow, let me check more. Well, let me get on to what I continued to write. It says, I saw that video last night and I was, of course, Thursday night, and I was immediately impressed. Dalton gets it. And I have seen precious few who do. And what he is doing in Syria, from Israel, is nothing short of incredible. I was really impressed, so I went looking for that video series that he produced, called Covenant in Controversy. And again, I'm going to try to stick that that link right up there. Did it appear? We'll see. For those of you that are listening on the MP3, I'm sorry, you'll have to do a little more manual of a search, but you'll get it. The first video in that series is this one. It's called Covenant and Controversy, Part 1, The Great Rage. 
the free Vimeo version is also, I also include the free Vimeo version, but the YouTube version I will include here and you'll get the, um, you should get the, you'll get the Vimeo version in the, uh, in the links below. Okay. So, <clears throat> and they also provide a complete and cited, uh, transcript and also the links will be below. Also, by the way, don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and then hit that little bell when you do just to make sure that you get all that you need to get and also your likes and subscribes will help increase the visibility of this channel so that the message can get out I'm certainly not interested in making money here but at least not yet I'll have to one of these days we'll see <clears throat> we'll see how the Lord provides now to go on, you will find an extended version of that first video that requires a $5.99 um, <clears throat> purchase, and it's worth it. Dalton provided the shorter version for free, and the $6 he is charging allows him to do the, it allows him actually to give away his videos. Give him enough money and he can continue working. None of us can live on just air and sunlight. <clears throat> And when you look at the production values of this video, you know that this didn't come cheap. And as it says in Luke 10, 7, a laborer is worthy of his hire. The special version features an extra hour of video and I include the link below. That video is incredible. And it brought back memories of my own journey into the un to my understanding of the Holocaust. I wasn't even a teenager when I came into contact with this horrifying massacre of the Jewish people, and to this day I cannot watch a movie about the Holocaust. I doubt that I will ever see Schindler's List or any other theatrical release that deals with the Holocaust. I know too much. I have my limits. I can also verify that my life in Israel and my own research into the horrors of the Holocaust bear witness to the truth of this film. You will be shocked by what this film tells you, but it is still the truth. And my interactions with Israelis bear witness to that truth. Please understand that Israelis do not understand the difference between Baptists and Catholics. How many times, countless times I've been asked, John, will you go to Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve? No, I don't go to Midnight Mass on Christmas Eve. They don't understand that Baptists or any other denomination of Christianity is not the same as the Catholics that murdered them. You will understand why I mention this because you will hear some of the thi some things in that video that will surprise and upset you. Unfortunately, what you will hear is still the cold, hard truth. And I think that the reason why so few are willing to watch this movie is that they cannot take the truth. However, I know that Omega Shock readers and Shock Cast listeners are made of sterner stuff. But that video was only a preamble to the next one. It's called Covenant and Controversy Part 2, The City of the Great King. I provide the link below. Here is the tra I also provide a link to the transcript below as well. It's called The City of the Great King Full Transcript with APA Citations. The second edition, of course, is <clears throat> the special edition, which includes an extra three hours of material, which is quite a lot, more than the, the core movie, and only for $6. And the point is this, he gets it. He really, really gets it. Dalton Thomas demonstrates yet again that he understands the point. He gets it. And there are so few who do that I will celebrate every single person who does. And since you need to get it, I will share their work with you in hopes that you will get it too. And can pass that gettedness on to others. We are so very, very late in the game and there are so few who understand. Please, please watch these videos and share them with others. This really is a life and death situation. Those who don't get it will die. Then on Monday or thereabouts, Dal Dalton will release part three, The Great Trouble. I can't even give you a link except this one faimission.org covenant dash slash covenant dash controversy again faimission.org slash 
covenant dash controversy. You'll find it in the links below. Here we are on the eve of the 70 year mark since the founding of the modern state of Israel. After having heard the opening salvo of the coming of Gog and Magog and with it Jacob's trouble and this film arrives. I'm sorry, I don't believe in happenstance or mere coincidence. That just doesn't happen. And I believe that Dalton Thomas is at the right place at the right time to provide you with something important. Yes, I'm sure that Dalton intended to have this film released on the 70 year anniversary. That's okay. But God placed Dalton at the right time in the right place to make this movie. I haven't seen this video yet. I haven't seen it, so I cannot tell you that it will be on target as, uh, as his other videos and movies are. And it makes me uncomfortable to share something without having seen it. I very rarely do that, almost never. But what I've seen so far leads me to believe that this video will be as, as earth-shaking as the others, if not more so. So please, watch these videos. You need these, and those that you love and cherish need to watch them as well. In this case, the truth will do more than just save your soul. It might even save your life. Now, I'm not going to get into the research that I had over the past week. Frankly, I spent a lot of time down in the eastern part of the island of Taiwan, in Hualien. We were visiting a church down there. I wasn't able to do as much research as I normally do, so I'm going to just leave that for you to go look at. And frankly, talking about anything else is going to dilute the importance of the core message of what I'm trying to say here. You need to watch those videos. It's really important. You need to understand what's coming. Because of all the things that I've talked to over the past years, it's been all leading up to this moment. Yes, I know the Antichrist is coming, but hopefully, if you survive the moments in time that's coming, you won't need me to tell you about the Antichrist. You'll understand. But you have to survive until you get to the Antichrist, until you get to be able to understand and use the information that we've all been <sighs> contemplating, all the understanding that we have over the last days. You need to survive Jacob's trouble. You need to survive Ezekiel's fire and Zechariah's horses and Isaiah's son. You need to be able to survive without any electricity. You need to be able to have fresh water that you can get to when your water faucet no longer flows with water. You need to be able to get the food that you need to survive the first months and years of this catastrophe. And please, if anybody can prove me wrong, I would love it. This is the last thing that I want. Anyway, my hope is you have a good weekend and that your pastor will give you the words that you need to hear to nourish your soul and your life. May you serve God in all that you do in the coming week. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Sha'alu shalom le'yerushalayim. Have a great week.